What's up guys, it's your girl Aries Ashley here and today is day 17 of Vlogtober. So let's talk about the end of fall. We're gonna do a little fall wind down and I have a haul. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you love it here. And if you've been here from the beginning, y'all know the deal. I appreciate you so very much. So overall, I'm really happy with what Bath & Body Works did for fall 2023. I'm so glad that they brought back popular fragrances like spiced pumpkin and patchouli. I absolutely love that candle. It became one of my favorites uh, the first time that they released it. I'm happy that they brought it back. I hope they continue to bring it back. Um, mahogany vanilla. I, I miss that candle so much, y'all. I, I really hope I find one <laughs> in my stash somewhere because I, I want it. I hope I find more than one because I want to burn it. And I'm just glad that that became a popular candle. I know it's not fall. I don't know why we're talking about mahogany vanilla. But anyway, it, it just, I guess smelling the awesomeness of this reminded me of the awesomeness that is mahogany vanilla. Anyway, I'm glad that they brought the blueberry candle back. I didn't get to experience it the first time that it came out, but blueberry pumpkin patch was awesome. Uh, the apricot green fig i had to say was the candle that i was looking forward to the most but i ended up loving praline delight more than the apricot and green fig which is fine with me because they were both really good candles and i am happy to see scents like that come out i'm glad to see classics such as leaves um pumpkin pecan waffles what else you guys pumpkin apple love me some pumpkin apple I think they did a really decent job. I don't even have any packaging complaints. The white pumpkin and that glass decor packaging was gorgeous. Mountain Teakwood, one of my favorites. I'm so glad that they did that. I think they did a good job as far as candles went for the fall season. And the body care, what did we get? Sunrise Woods came back. I'm happy to see Sunrise Woods make a return. I really did like that fresh, fresh vanilla blossom. I was happy to see that come out. I didn't get the bourbon fragrance because I didn't care for it too much, but I did like that sweet whiskey came back. I like the sweet whiskey this year. I'm happy that I got to rediscover a scent and then uh, actually enjoy it this time around. So I don't know if Luminous is considered, is that fall or Christmas? I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm going to say Luminous is like beginning of Christmas. So we're not really going to talk about Luminous too much. However, I think the biggest win in body care this season for fall 2023 was leaves in body care. Oh my gosh, Bath and Body Works, you did that. So yes, you get an A+. Bath and Body Works gets an A+, plus for fall 2023 in my opinion. And then of course, we absolutely love it when the fall sale rolls around. That being said, let's hop into the haul that I have here. I have a box that just came into the mail and I have some stuff that I grabbed from the store as well as some Christmas items that I decided to pick up. So let's get this collective haul all done. The first thing I grabbed was a vanilla matcha latte. I think hand soaps, they did a great job in hand soaps this year as well. I mean, Bath & Body Works killed it for fall 2023. Uh, fresh matcha, vanilla syrup, and a splash of milk. This smells like a matcha, and it's kind of like mind-blowing how amazingly close this is exact actually how precise this is to the scent of what a vanilla matcha latte would smell like it's wild and crazy and i absolutely hope you tried this fragrance it smells so good some people may not like the earthiness of matcha but if you are a matcha drinker if you do like the smell of earthy scents mixed with a little sweet things y'all know vanilla sage is my favorite candle of all time Oh, am gosh, you need to get you some vanilla matcha latte. I just picked up one because I was trying to chill. I know I have a few of them, but I really don't know if that scent is coming back. I hope it does, but I'm not sure. So I just picked up one more. And yeah, you guessed it. I backed up the leaves body care because um, I, I do have two sprays already. So I wasn't too crazy about like getting another spray because it takes me a while to go through those but I did get two more shower gels 
uh, I have one lotion and I backed up a lotion because I, my ratio to using a lotion is two shower gels. So by the time I finish both of these would be to one lotion. And I recommend knowing that you guys know how you use your product. I know I use more shower gel than I do lotion. So, or, or just the way it works. I'm, I don't know why. Um, I guess shower gel, you have the water that's like bubbling it up and, and you're spreading it. I don't know. I don't know the science behind it. I'm not going to even pretend to explain it to you guys. I just know that the way it works for me is that I use two shower gels to one lotion. And then the body spray, if I had to add that math in there, would be like and a half a bottle of body <laughs> spray. So it takes me a long time to go through those fine fragrance mists for whatever reason, which is why I didn't see the need in getting another one when I already have two. Okay. Now, with all of that said, the next bag, I grabbed another Moonlit Graveyard. I am burning one right now. I have one for the collection, and this is another one for me to burn. I really did like this fragrance. It has scent notes of tombstone moss, cold, foggy air, eerie incense with natural essential oils. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful fragrance. They did a really good job with Halloween this year as well. I wasn't too crazy about all of the pedestals. Like that hand, I, I don't, you know, I feel like maybe Bath and Body Works reached their peak with the home decor and Halloween when they made that witch hand. That hand is intense. Like, do y'all remember the craze that was going on when they, when that hand came out? Everybody was going nuts. Yeah, I'm so glad that I do have one. Actually, I have I have quite a few of them. I have like four because I put the bust up with the hands. <laughs> so the bust looks like they have hands. So I have the his bust and the her bust. And then I put the hands around the bust. So they both look like, you know, you know what I mean? Like they both look like this <laughs> whenever I put them together. So I'm very happy that um, I was able to get that. But this year, I didn't really love the decor so much. I did think some of it was nice, but I, I don't know. It just was something about it. The pumpkin just seemed not as interesting to me. The pumpkin with the skull head, it was just kind of meh. And then the, the one with the creepy picture, I did not like that at all. So yeah, the only one that I really did care for, I want to say was the chalice and the single wick one was cute with the spider but I don't burn single wicks I burn single wicks in the bathroom so it just wasn't practical for me to get the single wick holder with the spider hanging down from it even though it was really nice it was cute um the hand however like that's just like I can use that you know what I mean <laughs> it's a it's a statement piece it, it really stands out so uh yeah I don't know. I, I think they definitely, they, they reached the top of the mountain with that one. All right. Next, the Headless Horseman. I really wanted this wallflower plug and I'm very, very happy that I was able to get it. He lights up and he has a pumpkin head and I think it is absolutely adorable. So for 60% off plus an additional 25% off for this day, I wanted to go ahead and pick that up while the price was right. Now, I don't recall reading you guys the scent notes on um, leaves. And I guess it's because there are no scent notes on the faceted collection. Okay, so sorry about that. I will post the scent notes to leaves on the bottom of the screen so that you can see what they are. Next, I got four of the Vampire Blood Bath Fizzies because Leon absolutely loves his bath bombs. He has to have a bath bomb. You guys, those Lush bath bombs are expensive. When we go get his bath bombs from Lush, we have to cut them in half because he'll go through those things really quickly and these were like two dollars i want to say after all of the discounts after the 60 percent off and the 20 percent off 25 percent off they came to like two dollars so i grabbed four of them that way and it didn't stay in our tub i think the reason why it doesn't stain the tub for us is because leon is constantly moving when he's 
in the bathtub. He doesn't sit still and take a bath. So I think the agitation prevents the the black uh, dye or I guess, yeah, the black coloration in the bath bomb from sticking to the tub. And I don't really have an issue with the cleanup. But yeah, I'm glad I was able to pick up four of those to keep me out of Lush for a little bit. All right. Next, y'all, this is the cutest hand sanitizer spray. I really just like that. I like the way that it looked. I like the style of it with the coffin and the hands and the, and the bats. I don't know if y'all can see that. Probably not. My light is like right there. Yeah. But anyway, Vampire Blood and the hand sanitizer. It's cute. I wanted it. I put it in the bag for the price point. Next, I picked up the pumpkin latte pocket back holder. It's not. He's so the cute. Oh my gosh. So very cute. I absolutely needed him. I was like, yeah, for your for the price you are, you come with me now. Like all before, you wasn't that cute. Like you was kind of cute. You was kind of cute. But now that you're on sale, you real cute. And I want you. I want you. That's right. So I got that. Oh, oh. He was cute the whole time, right? I just was like, don't do it. Don't do it. You don't need it. But now he on sale, you come with me. So he's cute and he lights up. Ooh, adorable. Absolutely adorable. So glad that I was able to grab him. And we got some wallflowers, y'all. Again, backed up Moonlit Graveyard. This scent smells so good. In the wallflower, too. I really like it in the wallflower. Y'all, bergamot and birch is one of my favorites. So I picked that one up. And lastly, I grabbed a freshly brewed coffee. I actually grabbed that for my mom, but I'm not going to lie. That smells good. I don't know if there's any more left in my store. I don't know if my mom is going to get that freshly brewed. <laughs> I'm not going to do it like that, but it smells good. And the reason I say that is because I have a wallflower plug right next to my trash can. And I figured maybe the scent of coffee could like cancel out the scent that could maybe be coming from the trash. And it does. And it smells really good. I walked past there earlier today and I was like, why do I smell coffee? I was like, oh, yes, that is beautiful. I like that. I like the idea of doing that, too, of putting it right next to the trash can to eliminate odor. Hello, somebody. Next, I picked up a chalice yes because it was the only piece that i really wanted so i thought it was really nice and i didn't want to get like um normally i get like two but i didn't i didn't want two for this piece i just wanted one of them i i think it's because it's like so gaudy now the candlesticks you guys remember the candlesticks from last year they were like wonky and had the the dripping from them i did get two of those but it, the wonkiness of it kind of reminded me of like an Alice in Wonderland thing. So I wanted two of those because I felt like that would look better together. And also they were black. They weren't gold. So they weren't as, you know, shiny and, and flashy as this one. So I have this, which I am happy that I picked up. And you guys... We're gonna, I'm gonna just show you the couple of Christmas items I got because it's in this bag because we also have a box down here to go through. So the two Christmas items I picked up is a choo-choo train. Y'all, I wanted it. I wanted the Santa choo-choo train. Look at how cute this thing is. Look at this. It just makes me happy, okay? I'm just so happy about it. And the snowman. Serenity wanted the snowman. I was not going to get the snowman, y'all, because the price point on him is $19.95. And I was going to leave him right where he was at. But I had that 25% off coupon. And I was like, just just get it while it's 25% off. Because if you don't, you it might sell out and you're going to be sad. I don't think he, I really don't think he's going to sell out. Will you sell out? I don't think so. But anyway, he's cute and 25% off. I just grabbed it. Okay. 
now there he's there i got him <laughs> next up i have a box down here that is convenient to open oh look at that that is beautiful i love it so this box has five candles in it i did order six candles from the fall sale but one of them shipped separately, which I don't really understand why. Um, it's so it's not in this box, but I'll tell you what it was. It was the blue, the blue jasmine. I'll put a picture right there. It was that one. So I grabbed one of those. You guys, I went through my neutrals packaging. Listen, I have six crates of just neutrals only neutral candles i was like what am i where how am i i'm reorganizing and i did not know that i had that many candles in the neutral packaging so i kind of want to create a space for just neutral packaged candles now that's going to be fun all right candle number one is a whiskey reserve you guys, I ended up gifting the whiskey reserve that I found, so I replaced it. And the scent notes are crisp apple, single malt whiskey, white oak with natural essential oils. Mmm, beautiful. Smells so good. Yes, 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 yes. So happy to have that. Next. <laughs> I'm laughing, but it ain't funny because it's another neutral. The apple and charcoal <laughs> candle. Mm, that smells so good the wax is loose on this guys you can see how it's been like hitting the lid how the wicks have been hitting the lid i just know it'll slide out if i move it too much the scent notes are sweet red apple smoked charcoal with natural essential oils i kind of slept on this candle y'all i slept on this candle for a little bit and i was going to be sad had i not backed it up so i believe i have three i think this is number three this candle smells good don't let the smooth taste fool you that apple is gorgeous okay next endless weekend endless sea the scent notes on endless sea are fresh bergamot salt water lily ocean driftwood with natural essential oils y'all i love this fragrance this smells so good Oh my gosh, when I burned the first one, I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh-uh, uh-uh, I need at least two more, at the very least two more. And I, this is, I don't know, three, four? I don't know, three or four. This is number three or four because it smells so good. The next candle we have here, ooh, I regret not getting like two of these, but it's okay, it's okay. It is salted grapefruit, sure, you guys. The scent notes are salted grapefruit, green ocean leaves, bright huckleberry with natural essential oils. I did not care for this too much on cold, right? But when I burned it during the summer, I was like, wow, that's a beautiful candle. And it, I was kind of slow to get another one. This is a fruity fragrance that I can definitely get down with in the summertime, like in the hot heat when it's just too hot to even burn a candle. This one made me happy. I was satisfied. And I kind of regret that I only got one. Y'all, I think this is the only one that I have because I burned the other one. I don't know why I didn't get like three. That's what I should have done on this haul. I should have grabbed three of these, but I didn't. And I believe they're all gone now. I don't think there's any more on the website. So, oh well, that's what happens. Just snooze you loose. It's like if you created an inventory sheet and you knew what you had, then maybe you would have known to grab three of those, Ashley. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. And last, but certainly not least, <laughs> another neutrals packaging, <laughs> salted amber and vetiver. The scent notes are salted amber, fresh orange flower, rich vetiver with natural essential oils. Y'all, the wax, you hear it? It's loose. Oh, that smells good. I don't know that I have this, but I like it. It smells really good. Okay. I can get down with that. Hmm. I hope I don't end up wanting more of those. So that is it, you guys. That is the, that's a pretty big haul, I, I guess. 
Yeah, I mean, it's a decent sized haul. That's what I got from the fall sale haul, along with my couple of Christmas items here. So cute. Let me know, are you guys still shopping the fall sale? If so, what are you getting? What do you want? I really wanted the squirrel, but he sold out on me. He, I, I was too slow because the squirrel, he left. The three-way candle holder, oh man, I really wanted him too, but he, he's gone. You guys, I'm thinking about going to a different store location to see what they have. There's a store I have in mind that I would, that I, I wouldn't mind traveling to to just kind of scope out what they have going on for this 60% off sale seeing what they have left fingers crossed you guys I really want to just find that squirrel I hope he's somewhere waiting on me <laughs> so, so that's it and maybe they have some really good candles hopefully I'll run into another salted grapefruit shore somewhere on a table so yeah maybe maybe I'll go scope around and see what I can find but other than that, not too much. I'm really waiting on the next set of Christmas at this point, I believe. This Christmas floor set one was, it was good, but I'm, I'm kind of like not as impressed as I wanted to be. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I was looking for more of a wow factor. So I think that I may get that for Christmas too. And I, I am just, I'm just hoping it's true. If you watch this video, all the way to the end comment down below what was your favorite fall item from bath and body works for fall 2023 all right thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you tomorrow for day 18 of vlogtober for something very exciting toodles